Unconsciously, I did the 5 item French wardrobe in 2023. To avoid all misunderstandings, no, the 5 item French wardrobe doesn't mean you only can have 5 items into your wardrobe. No, however, it is a great way to start with a more sustainable and high quality approach with regards to your wardrobe. And how you do that and how I did it, I will explain it in this video. Let us start from the beginning. What is actually the 5 item French wardrobe? Well, French women are often admired for their excellent fashion taste. Their secret is a combination of strong basics and 5, you see, additional items per season. And thanks to the strong foundation of basic, it's easy to add those extra five items because they also will generate multiple new outfits and then you can really build a sustainable, durable, high quality wardrobe. And because you can wear those items in multiple outfits and because they are high quality, the cost per wear is very low. And that means that you can really invest in those high quality items and in more expensive items, but more sustainable items instead of throwing your money away to fast fashion and buying too many items you actually don't wear. So maybe on the first side an item can look cheaper but will be in the long term more expensive because you don't wear it or don't wear it that often than a high quality maybe more expensive but also more sustainable item that you can wear over and over and over again in multiple outfits. So now you might think like okay this sounds very appealing and I want to try that approach. But how do I start with it? First of all, you will need to clean out your closets because there are too many items in every closet that are getting dust, are unworn, um, has still the price tag on, you don't wear, you don't love, so first a closet clean out is necessary. And maybe that sounds daunting, I also know the feeling, but I did research to all the closet clean out frameworks. I took all the best elements that I could find and bring them in one framework to do a closet clean out and will may take you one, two hours, uh, of course, if you don't overthink every step. So that is what I did for you and you can just download it for free below. So once you did your closet clean out, it's also important to have an overview and kind of an inventory of your wardrobe. For that, you can use the Acquired. The Acquired is a digital wardrobe app that will make it very easy to have an overview of everything that you own. You can also create outfits with your items and you can even take your closet with you when you go for a shopping trip. And then you can create a list of the five items you want to add to your wardrobe during the season or the year what works for you. And those items are not basic because normally with doing the closet clean out and uh, taking the inventory you already discovered all your basics. Of course if you lack certain basics you can also buy them but they are then part of your strong foundation of basics and not of the five items you want to add. And then those five items they are not basics but they will be kind of basic, um, I will explain later what are actually basics are, but they will really be a complement for your wardrobe. So every item you will add, you, it needs to be an, an extension of your current wardrobe. So you need to create multiple outfits with it. And in that case, also a digital wardrobe app like the Acquired can help you because you can already pre-add your item to your digital wardrobe and can start experimenting, shuffling around with the outfit feature to see if you can actually create multiple outfits with it. So then you take really or removing really the guessing out of your outfitting. So what is now considered as a basic? Of course it depends on your personal style. For me I have a very classic style so my basics are turtlenecks, blazers, a suit, a little black dress but if you have more of a bold style you will have more t-shirts, uh, black t-shirts or graphic t-shirts, um, a leather jacket will be more of your basics and when you are more in the 
casual, comfy style, then it would be probably more knits and oversized items, uh, very more, or if you're sportive style, then it would be consist of hoodies and leggings. So that depends a bit, but there are some basic rules, no pun intended, to, um, that can help you to really see what, are, what the kind of basics are and also apply it to your wardrobe and your style. Basics are actually items you can wear over and over again. They have mostly have a more solid plain color. They are also very comfortable for you uh, while you're still feeling very good and polished in it. Also they are made from high quality so they will last forever and of course the most important thing they match with everything else that you have in your closet. And a little side note, basics from high quality or high quality in general doesn't mean it needs to cost you the bank. It can be a t-shirt from 30 euros, it can be one from 100, it's just need to make sure it's high quality, it's durable and of course also made of more sustainable fabrics or materials. And okay, what are now my five items I bought in 2023? The first one uh, I bought was this turtleneck of Cezanne and yes, like you see, I'm already wearing another one. Uh, this one was, I didn't bought it myself, I got I bought it myself but it was from a gift card that I received via a networking event. Uh, so, doesn't, does this count? Doesn't count? I don't know. But it felt so good, so comfortable uh, that I really wanted to, and I was wearing it so many times that I say, okay, I need a blue navy one because I already had a black turtleneck and I'm also wearing that so many times I wear it. Oh, I wear it with suits, I wear it with just denim, um, I wear it with skirts, like when I, even when I go for a run and it's cold, I'm wearing it, when I go to the gym and I don't want to be in my training top yet, I'm just putting it over, so I'm wearing these a lot. And what I really liked is those little details uh, to make it a little bit special. So it is basic, but it has... A little bit of a twist so and then so this one as well it's a, another detail but yeah really loved this one so yeah that's a really good purchase of the year another top i bought uh, is this blouse and actually i bought it with the other item so i bought these two together so this is a, a dress like you see also in my typical color palette, navy and blues, um, actually with a belt, because I really love yeah, wearing blue dresses. I'm also wearing more dresses lately than instead of suits, because it's just also easy, like a suit, you put it on and you have no outfit combination stress, it's you're already dressed. You just need to put shoes, jacket and maybe some accessories and you're ready to go. And this one was in sale, it's from Ted Baker. And I really want this one um, because I, it's very classic um, and looks luxury, but with those puffy shirt um, sleeves, it gives again that twist. So I'm really looking for items that I add to my wardrobe that they are still very classic, but have a little twist. So more the innovative style. A little side note, um, I really love wearing it, but because it is more special, I often feel a bit like, should I wear it again? Maybe they already have seen me in it and they think I'm re-wearing it. And I know re-wearing items is important, um, repeating outfits also. You don't have to be ashamed of it, but it's still not common, especially not as a woman. This blouse as well, and actually, you see it's a little bit see-through and I was wearing it for the first time and I was like no I'm gonna send that back I don't love it that much so I just put it on and say like, nah it's nothing for me so I wanted to send it back even created already the return shipping label 
I said, okay, I need to make a video. Um, <laughs> and I said, I'm just gonna wear it here at home uh, for making a video, a little reel. And then I saw it actually in combinations. And um, because I did multiple combinations with it. And then I was like, huh, I actually really like it. So yeah, I even paid extra to keep it. So, and it has a little uh, bow on the back and actually bows are very very on trend this year but that doesn't mean you need to have buy you need to buy bows over and over again now but if it's something you like is it something that fits your style you can definitely consider it and my fourth item oh, i love it so much it's a black blazer Yes, it is from Mango. Mango is not the most sustainable brand. I really was already for the hunt for one. It wasn't that expensive because leather jackets can be very expensive. I tried multiple ones and actually this one, I was in love with it. It felt great, it really suits me well. It wasn't that costly, it was even on a discount. So. And then I feel a little bit, of course, like, oh, huh, should I buy it? It's fast fashion. So, yes, I'm still not there as well. But I'm already wearing it for, I already worn it so many times. That, and this one is a staple. It will not leave my closet because I love it so much. And then I think, okay, that's then my way to be sustainable it's definitely a journey. And I'm not perfect as well, but I want to look good and feel good. So and also startup life isn't that is expensive so i did it now i'm lo in love with it and it's like i said it's balancing everything so and try to do our best right and then my last and fifth item is in the laundry so i cannot show it denim from caroline beats and also that story is i and that also not the most sustainable story, but that is also like why I wanted to do something in fashion tech and solve problems because there are really problems is that I was looking for a denim. I was really looking in very sustainable um, brands. Uh, I found ones, or, but the problem was that it didn't fit me or the fabric was too sturdy. There was always something wrong with it that didn't make me feel good. I already liked one of Caroline Bees, but it was sold out. Like I was too late with, with buying it because I was overthinking it and now I was regretting it, so I was trying to find another one. I didn't find it, so I was more a logistics center as well during summer with returnings and that's then I think about oh, this is so not sustainable. First fit and feeling good is also very important. I saw the new collection of Caroline Bees and I and I fell in love with, with another pair. I bought it. It's Belgian, uh, it's local, so that's also something like for me that's also important. I want to buy a Belgian local brand. So I think that's also a way of being sustainable. I made some very good purchases and that's also something I really really like like i don't really regret any purchase that i did i didn't do a lot but i'm so happy with it and i keep wearing it wearing the items and i think that's the most important and i also feel true to my style because in the past i bought more trends and let me influence by other people and now i'm just looking okay this is my wardrobe this is what i want i add it then to my digital wardrobe and be my own influencer and see like oh this item fits well and i can create outfits with it or then i add an item and see like uh, look like for example an item that i see by on someone else via social media i think oh i want this it looks so good on her but then i add it to my own uh, digital wardrobe and i see like okay i can actually not create outfits with it so then I know it's it's not for me. And yeah, being my own influencer, I will continue that. In 2024, I definitely want to buy buy less, buy better, most sustainable as possible. I hope I could inspire you. I'm curious to see where my style journey will lead me in 2024. Let me know if you like this video, comment below and let us connect. 
and of course if you also want to try the digital wardrobe app you can download it via the app store and the google play store see you in the next video